Hello guys, your favorite guys here again. Um my for beginners and that is what we're gonna be doing again today. So um what I really want to talk about is um um stand in in Hannah Render. I think most of us don't know what it does and let's go. So what it uh majorly do does do I don't know is that um this um stand in it actually um you can render a lot of um objects here like um uniform objects like let's say i have a car here i want to have multiple cars in my rendering in my final rendering that is what it does literally just like uh um, these um miami um plugin you know that miami um, you can have multiple render um, um objects that is what it actually does so uh now let's go um I, i'm just gonna um you know i have i think i have a background here a plane here so that we can see our reflection no a shadow and the like so i'm just gonna go to another render view and you can see i have a car here but it's just one and usually when you go to the police station you have a lot of um, police cars um standing by ready to fight crime anytime they receive call or something so that is exactly what we want to um, simulate so um i have just one car here um um in the olden days um we will just um select this guy and duplicate and move it um around so uh that is how we usually um used to do it then but now you have um stand in so i'm just gonna create um go to exports and select that thing i can go to reset so that everything comes back to um so i want to export it as ass um export this guy so uh export bounding box this bounding box is what um makes you be able to render without taking much of your render time and that is very very essential so i'm just gonna um select this and um that is all export selection make sure you select um all the objects you, you want to um like have the stand in on so uh i'm just gonna call it um stand stand st okay stand in tests so and okay so i have the standing now so let's say i just delete this guy again or just um cut it out and go to my render view again it's no more there it's no more there so um now i can create um my stand in just create and this is the standing test that i uh, exported out the other time so i'll just um, load it and i have the banding box there so now if i go back to my render view yeah i have the car now so i can now duplicate this guy just ctrl d and move it aside so uh, this thing is not um refresh rendered okay since you know yeah you can see now we have two cars now i can have a lot of cars here so i'll just press shift um let me shift it um a bit more shift d shift d that's like five cars um now let's select all these guys and um control d bring it forward um if you have millions of cars here it's not gonna increase your render time um just gonna shift d shift d shift d shift d now let me go to windows um outliner and i would have all these guys uh, these are the guys yes so now i can duplicate this and move it to the side like that shift d again um ctrl d and move it to this side now i have lots 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 of cars now let me increase this um lane so that it covers my camera view and that is it now if i go back to my render view you see the millions oh render views oh it's here so you can see the cars yes you can see the cars and if i zoom in 
to have a better quality you can see so those are the cars those are the cars and that is stand in using anod renderer so you can see how awesome how cool this is without taking much of your time it's literally not seeing anything it's actually not seen like um there is nothing in there it's just um boxes and it's just um turn it to you know like um an image i don't know the better way to explain this but pretty much that is all you need to know about it you can see we have lots and lots and lots of cars here that is stand in and not render view so thank you guys for watching this i hope you're enjoying it and love it and please subscribe for more videos like this yes so i'm saying we shall meet again in peace and not in pieces so peace